Since you all loved the last story so much, I have received and reviewed a ton of stories from you guys. A lot of them were amazing, but this is the one that really got my attention. This person also asked not to be named and wants to go by the name Kyle for his protection. Enjoy. It was a cold winter night, December 27th, 2022. It was Tuesday, around 11 p.m. give or take, and my parents just went off to bed. It was my winter break, which lasted two weeks where I live. I played Grill Tag every day and was beginning to become bored of it, which is normal when you play a game day after day for over a year. That being said, I got on YouTube and decided to see what I could find for my daily watch of Grill Tag content. Grill Tag ghosts were becoming more and more popular around this time, so I decided to watch some ghost content. I've never joined any ghost codes or looked into any Grill Tag ghosts, so I had no idea which ones were the most mainstream, which ones did what, or where to find them. After doing some research, I gathered a list of codes to join to see if I had any luck in finding any. I should probably mention this before the story goes on. I'm not a little kid, I'm 16 years of age, and I'm old enough to know that Grill Tag ghosts are just modders, which is okay to me because I personally think it makes Grill Tag much more interesting and gives the game lore and other stories to follow and read about. Anyways, before I loaded into Grill Tag, I went into my little brother's room to see if he wanted to join, but he was fast asleep, so I was on my own. The time was now about 11.40pm more or less, so the player count on Grill Tag was less than 10,000, which is low now compared to Grill Tag today. I then started going through my list of ghost codes. Code after code, it was either just a bunch of little kids or people very poorly acting as ghosts. If you're going to act as a Grill Tag ghost, you might as well use mods, I thought to myself. I continued on down the list and was reaching the end, starting to lose hope in finding anything. That was until I joined code NAMO. Upon joining, I was greeted with two people in the lobby, three including me. I heard a kid on the other side of the map saying, Where are you, Leek? Leek, I said. I'm in code NAMO, but supposedly there's a ghost named Leek in here? I thought to myself. I checked the board and sure enough there it was, a dark, bold red color with the name Leek. Weird, I thought. I began to call out for the random kid whose name was Ben Dover. Yes, very funny I know, but that's what his name was. I followed his voice and ended up in City, where I saw him looking up at something. I got to him and he said, There's a ghost in here I think, but I can't tell. He hasn't talked at all, but he has a creepy name so it could be a ghost. I took his word for it and we agreed to search the entire map. We looked everywhere, no sign of anyone else but us two. Even though there was clearly a third person with us because of the name on the board. Minutes and minutes go by, still searching, still no sign. Then we hear it, a faint, robotic, static voice. It sounded like a voice coming from one of those old TVs with a super bad quality of audio. It was coming from the mountains. We were in forest. As we raced the mountains, it became more clear what Leek was saying. Numbers, he sang numbers, the kid said. We reached mountains and looked up. There Leek was, floating above the middle of mountains, arms spread, frozen still. Just that same robotic voice spitting out numbers over and over. Me and Ben Dover looked at each other, confused. After a few minutes of this going on, it hit me. Leek was saying the same pattern of numbers over and over again. He would say one line of numbers, then a second line. Two different lines of numbers. There was two of us. Me and the kid. He was saying our IP addresses, I told the kid. We both started freaking out as this wasn't a normal ghost encounter. If that wasn't creepy enough, it stopped. Leaked stopped saying the lines of numbers and floated there silently for what felt like an eternity, but was around 30 seconds or so in reality. We stood there quietly, looking at Leek. That was until he said four words in the deepest, distorted, gut-wrenching voice I've ever heard. Hello, Kyle. Hello, Tyson. That's my real name! That's my real name! What the heck? The kid next to me said. The kid started crying and immediately shut his Oculus off. I know this because he sat there frozen and after a minute his gorilla disappeared. I was extremely freaked out as I have never heard of anyone else experiencing this at the time. I decided to log off as well, not thinking much of it. Like I said before, I just think it's someone who knows how to mod, so I didn't take it too seriously. It's about 1am now, I'm laying in bed, searching YouTube and TikTok to see if anyone else has encountered Leek. I couldn't find anything, I'm sure there was some video somewhere, just hidden. As I continue to watch more and more videos to see if I can find anything similar to what I just experienced, often leaving comments on videos I've been scrolling through, I receive a notification, oh, 
Someone replied to my comment, I said. I checked the notification and immediately turned pale. I could feel my body turn extremely hot, even though I had goosebumps. The name of the person who commented was, Hello Kyle. What the hell? I thought to myself. I clicked on his profile to find nothing. Just the username in a very dark, bold red color as a profile picture. No posts, no nothing. I was really beginning to freak out now, for real. I ran, made sure every entrance into the house was locked. I searched the house, no one was in here, thankfully. No smashed windows, no nothing. Everything was locked, thank god. I returned to my bed to another notification on my phone. It was another reply to one of my comments, but from someone else this time. The name of the person who replied was Tyson, the kid who I was just with that hour earlier in that code we encountered leaking. I read the reply and my jaw dropped. Kyle, help me, please, he's here. I sat there in shock, so confused to what was going on. Is this a fever dream? Is this even real? I said to myself. I laid there in my bed and prayed for this to be over. I didn't know what to do, but lay there and waited out. I then ended up falling asleep, eventually. When I woke up, I immediately checked my phone. No notifications, no nothing. My parents were already gone for work, so I was alone. I was relieved that it was over and done with, or so I thought. A few hours later, on my local news channel, there was a man that was arrested, six foot, two inches tall. Very rugged looking, scary looking, I should say. I didn't really think much of it at the time. After watching that bit on the news, I got a call from my friend shortly after. I answered and instantly he began talking at the speed of light. His voice sounded very shaky, almost like he was about to cry or just got done crying. I told him to relax and tell me what's wrong so I could understand him. He, he then told me everything that happened. That man on the news, he broke into their house and tried to get his little brother Tyson. My face instantly lit up in fear. That little boy I was on grilled tag with was my best friend's little brother, Tyson. The odds of this happening are... I don't even know, but I know that it's crazy odds. Tyson is okay, thankfully, and my best friend's parents don't let him on virtual reality anymore. I still play grilled tag to this day, but I definitely am much more cautious and take things more seriously than I used to.